Welcome to The Undercurrent, your source for grassroots news. I'm Lauren Windsor. We are here in New York with Attorney General Eric Schneiderman at a fundraiser for American Family Voices. Why are you here in support of this organization today? This is really the national network that focuses uh, on economic issues of economic justice. And this is a point in American history where economic justice and the inequality that we're seeing explode all across America is really the greatest public policy threat to our people and our democracy. We're here tonight to talk about trying to get money out of our political campaign system in New York. We have a tremendous opportunity in the next 90 days to do so in the state of New York and set an example for the country. But uh, this is an issue that uh, uh, you and Mike Lux and everyone down there works on day in and day out and we're proud to be here with you and to help you raise some money for the national economy. Why do you think that the Department of Justice has been so lax on prosecuting top-level banking executives? Well, the Department of Justice just working with me and the task force created by President Obama just got the largest settlement in American history. I mean, Matt and J.P. Morgan Chase put up $13 billion. So uh, you can say maybe they should have moved sooner, but they certainly are, are moving now. There are uh, a lot of political players in New York that are trying to stop you from uh, pursuing prosecutions of Wall Street bankers. Well, why is that? Look, I think that all over America, there are a lot of people, including a lot of Democrats, who really have a sort of a go along, get along attitude. And that just doesn't cut it anymore. I mean, the, the number one issue in America today is inequality. And it's not a matter of being uh, against any particular sector of the economy. It's a matter of getting America back on track on our national mission. Greater equality and greater justice with every generation. So it's not that uh, people are anti manufacturer, anti bank, or anti oil and gas company. We just need to get the country back on track. And the exploding gap between rich and poor is a threat to our people and to our democracy. So that's why we're doing what we do. There's some folks who are reluctant to take on the struggle. But that's why we're gathering here tonight to be with folks who are willing to speak up. And in New York, we have found our voice. If you look at the election we just had for mayor. Um, we are not afraid to talk about economic inequality in New York. What are your biggest priorities in coming here? We're going to continue to work on all of our uh, the various cases and matters that we're pursuing in the financial court. We're working on issues of public integrity and corruption. We're going to continue to do something, uh, more things about the plague of illegal guns and gun violence. Uh, we've got our we've got our full plate going into the new year.